Hey, hey, it's the Wadi Cup, you guys. Coach Matt and Coach T. Um, looking at another concept on my low kick offense that I really like to use. And it's just a simple concept of hard lead hook into a hard rear low kick. And really what the focus is, is if I don't do it with my hands or my feet, it's twisting and twisting, okay? So the combo that I like to run um, for my Muay Thai fundamentals class is just a simple hook, cross, hook, rear low kick, okay? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be kinda non-committal on my first two punches. The idea, which we touched on um, even in our kickboxing, if you guys have been through that class, is to occupy the hands and the guard so that we can have a free shot at a low kick. Uh, one of my favorite fighters in history, Ernesto Hoost, was the king of this. So if you guys are looking for some videos to watch or athletes to watch, I highly recommend you check him out because this was his bread and butter. Okay, but when I'm with my partner, you guys could do it on your guard or just catching on the mitts, okay? But again, the focus is on a big twisting lead hook. Bang, and what I'm doing, kind of using that idea of corralling is I'm pushing a little bit to get his weight to drop, bang, into my rear low kick, okay? So, when I'm with my partner, nice and simple, he can hold for the first hook cross, but I would like you guys to take the last hook on your guard so you can feel that push a little bit. Don't crush your partners, but rather than that bang, popping hook, I'm gonna push through just a little bit to corral him into this low kick. So we'll just go uh, two for two on this one, okay? We go hook cross, Coach Terrence is gonna hold. The last one I go pushing, bang. Okay, and one more time, a little more game speed. On the first two, hook cross on the glove, hush, hush. Hush, hush. Okay, and then coach is gonna go to me. Right? Hook cross. Bang. Boom. But notice he's taking that angle, making my weight fall one more time. Hush, hush, hush. Beautiful. Um, coach, if you could step out of frame, I'll show. For those of us who maybe don't have a partner, right? Um, I'll show on the bag and even shadow boxing. The focus that I want you guys to do here is just that hard hook cross at the end. So first two, I'm kind of setting my range. Hook, cross, the last two I want to slam, full power. Hush, hush. Okay, one more time. So as I'm doing this, this will really get your cardio going. If you want to work on your cardio without going for a run, and you have access to the bag, throwing this combo for about two minutes will definitely kill you. One more time, so I'm on the bag, okay. Hush, 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 hush. Okay, and really working that power on the back. The last step would just be working on my balance, right, for shadow boxing. Hush, 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 hush. Because then I'll really find where my balance is. If I rotate too hard here, I'm not gonna have my rear low kick. So again, I still work in the power, but in different scenarios depending on what equipment I have. Hush, 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 hush. Nice and easy. Hush, 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 hush. Okay, and that's our concept uh, that we're gonna focus on today.